Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Josh Barnard from Eon. And I'm Alex Schroer, also from Eon. Every week we're going to be sharing English phrases used by native speaking teens. We hope you enjoy them. So, Josh, what's this week's issue about? The gang finds out more about Ellie. I wonder what they learn. Well, let's listen and find out. It's so nice to finally meet you. Same here. So, how did you two meet? At the science fair. My experiment almost blew up, but Kazu saved the day. It was love at first sight. I almost died. Wow, it looks like Kazu was Ellie's knight in shining armor. Yeah, he's a real hero. It seems like there's nothing he can't do. Well, he still has to work on his English, but he's making progress. I bet having an English-speaking girlfriend will help him improve really fast. Anyway, did you catch how Ellie responded to when Alex said, it's nice to meet you? Yeah, she said, same here, right? That's right. Same here is a very useful expression that basically means me too. For example, I'm exhausted. Same here. Let's take a break. There's an important difference from me too, though. Think back to the very first Itago, a whole year ago. Do you remember the correct way to respond to it's nice to meet you? You too. That's right. We can't use me too. Do you find this hard to remember? Have you ever said the wrong phrase embarrassing yourself the very first time you meet someone? Well, today is your lucky day. The expression same here is the perfect solution. That's right. Same here can be used to mean me too and you too. No more headaches deciding which expression to use. And it's only two words. I'm sorry, how many words did you say it was? It can't be just two words. It's just two words, Alex. And if you order now, you'll get a second expression for free. That's right. Order now and receive a second expression Likewise, absolutely free. Likewise works exactly like same here, and it's just one word. What a deal. Just call the number below and start greeting like a pro. Caution, these words are intended for casual use only. They should not be held liable for any damage incurred by negligence, including but not limited to usage with teachers, bosses, or other persons of higher rank. Wait, since when is Buchake an infomercial? I feel funny. Yeah. Same here. Today, we'd like to introduce a new corner of Buchake, Doshi no Tetsuji. In this section, we'll introduce ways to use verbs that will improve your conversations and your test scores. Our focus today is how to use the verbs know and meet to explain how your relationship with someone began. In this week's issue, Hillary asked Kazu, how did you two meet? You'll notice that this is a past tense question. In this case, meet refers to the very first time you met someone. This meeting can only happen once, so it's a question about a past event. However, there's another expression we can use to ask the same thing. How do you know each other? When we use the verb know like this, it's a present tense question. This is because knowing someone is a continuing state. It started in the past, but you still know them, so we use present tense. If you mix up these verbs, the meaning will change, so be careful. If I ask, how do you meet, it sounds like, how are you able to meet each other? Like it's difficult to meet because of schedules or distance or something. And if you say, how did you know someone, it sounds like that person has passed away, so be especially careful of this one. Come to think of it, how did the gang all meet? Oh, they um, met at school? To be honest, I don't know the details. Hmm. I guess it will remain a mystery. Or will it? Uh, probably, yes. Oh. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. <laughs>